Within this video, we will be showing off Hudu, our documentation platform. We will cover some of the main features or the core features within Hudu, as well as some of the customizable items. Hudu is very customizable based on the way you and your technicians would like to see Hudu. The easiest way to show off Hudu is hopping within an actual client. So I will jump into this test co-client or company, and we will have a sort of dashboard view of the client. We have areas for any basic information as well as quick notes, which can either be pulled from your integrations or they can be manually entered and various categories. Any category with my in front of it will be specific to the user logged in so that they can see any of the recents they've been accessing as well as any of their most visited within this Tesco client. Our statistics category will show you what's being stored within this client whether that's number of knowledge-based articles, number of passwords or website information, and the activity feed category is just another security measure within Hudu so that admins and super admins can see exactly who's been accessing what information and when. If we drop down the left-hand side menu, we'll come into the museum. The museum is an archive to store any old and inactive information so we can declutter the rest of your Hudu instance. Information stored within the museum is typically not searchable unless we filter to search within the museum as well, but we organize the museum based on what type of information is being stored. You can unarchive this information at any time or go ahead and permanently delete it. That brings us into our password manager. This is where you would store all of the passwords for this Tesco client or company in particular. Essentially give them a name, choose what they belong to, and then you'll be able to easily copy username, password, or the one-time password. We do also give you the ability to see how many times these passwords have been breached on the dark web. Clicking into a password, we will be again able to copy the username or the password. We can reveal that password. And then we've added the easy read in case there's any special characters or numbers that need to be highlighted. We do also have the one-time password generator, which will work very similarly to Microsoft or Google Authenticator. Essentially, when you're setting up a one-time password, you can type in the secret key or scan the QR code directly into Hudu, and we will generate the same numbers as those authenticators would. In terms of sharing passwords, we have two ways of how we do this within Hudu. The first would be creating a quick share link. Choose when you want it to expire from 30 minutes to one week. Include a message, the username, or that one-time password. Then we can go ahead and create that link. The second way of sharing passwords is a little bit more permanent, but it would be adding it to the client facing portal. Taking a look at the external sharing tab is where we can configure exactly what we'd like our clients or end users to be able to view. We can share with them specific asset information, website information, passwords or knowledge base articles, and taking a look at that portal. The portal is a read-only documentation system that you can give any end users access to. They do have light mode and dark mode, just like any other user within Hudu, and it is brandable per client and very customizable on what information you choose to share with those end users. That brings us into our processes. Our processes are checklists in order to organize any reoccurring tasks that you may have within Hudu. You can set these up one of two ways, either at a client or company specific level like we're in currently, if there are processes that relate only to this Tesco company, or via the admin tab, we can go ahead and create global process templates if they may relate to multiple or all of your clients. Clicking into one of these, these again are those checklists that you can write out so that your engineers or technicians can easily follow along and complete the task. In terms of knowledge base, we again have two ways of how we do our knowledge base articles within Hudu, very similarly to the processes. 
we have the client or company specific knowledge base, which would be articles that relate only to this Tesco company. Or up at the top, we do have our global knowledge base, which would be articles that relate to multiple or all of your companies stored within Hudu. Clicking into one of these, we automatically generate a table of contents so that you can easily hop between the headers of the article and find exactly what information you're looking for. We've added estimated read times so you know approximately how long these articles will take to read. And then you are able to add videos, images, tables, inline code, essentially anything you'd like into these articles so they look exactly how you'd like them to. And knowledge base articles are fully searchable. We can search the title, the headings, or any content found within. On the far right hand side of this page is going to be one of the more powerful tools within Hudu, which is our related items tab. You can relate any piece of information stored within Hudu to something else stored within Hudu. In this case, this knowledge base article is related to this specific desktop, this network device, it's found within this Tesco company, and it's linked to this process. This will make it really easy to navigate between any relevant information you may need to find. We can add files or comments, view a full revision history or activity log, generate printable versions, or you can share the article out via the link. That brings us into our website monitoring service. Essentially give us a URL and we'll track things such as status, name expiration, SSL certificate expiration, and a ton of other information pulled directly from the URL. Again, if we need our end users or clients to be able to view this information, we can add it to the client facing portal. We can relate it to specific items like a desktop, add any relevant usernames, passwords, or one-time passwords so that we can copy those directly from this screen, add files or comments, and we'll give you an easy way to view the expirations for this specific website. In terms of tracking expirations for this Tesco company as a whole, we do also have this category. Website expirations, as well as any expirations that we may be pulling in from your integrations, will automatically populate into this category, but we are able to add custom fields to any of the assets or knowledge base articles if you'd like to add expirations to those as well. And via the admin tab, we can set up custom alerting if we'd like to set up alerts for, say, domain expirations, we can send these to Slack. Microsoft Teams, Discord, email, really any messaging service. Everything at the bottom of your sidebar is going to be the customizable assets within Hoodoo. Customizable, you can change the name, the icon, and what's populating into this sidebar. If I click into, say, Applications, we'll pull up some details on our QuickBooks 19 application. These details can either be pulled from your integrations or they can be manually entered. We try and match the fields as perfectly as possible with what we pull in from your integrations, but you can set up custom fields to track any additional information you'd like. Again, we can add it to the, the client facing portal so that our clients are able to view this information. We can relate it to specific items like a main contact, a primary desktop, or put it within a specific location within this Tesco company. If we link it to a process like the secure application installation process, we can see this has been completed and QuickBooks 19 installed on this desktop. We can add relevant usernames, passwords, or one-time passwords, add photos, files, or comments, view full revision histories or activity logs, generate printable versions, or generate QR codes. We do also have the personal password vault. This would be specific to the technician or user logged in. No one else has access to their vault, but they can store any of their own personal passwords. We have the resync feature. So we sync with all of our active integrations automatically every three hours 
but if you populated something into one of your integrations and wanted it to come over into Hoodoo almost immediately, we can go ahead and hit the refresh. It'll take a couple of seconds and that information would be pulled in. And from the admin tab is where we can customize Hoodoo from the ground up. It's how we're structuring the documentation or set up multi-factor authentication and single sign-on. We can do so from the general tab. We can customize the design of Hoodoo. We can set up security groups so we can restrict access to specific information to different groups. Again, set up any custom alerts and customize the assets within your clients. We do also have the fully public roadmap so that you are able to see exactly what Hoodoo has planned, what we have in progress, and what we've completed. If you don't see a feature that you'd like, you can request those features. Our engineers look at this daily and try and implement them as quickly as possible. This has been a quick demonstration of our product. Please book a demo with one of our sales reps and we'd be happy to run through specifics with you or cover any additional information. Thank you, bye.